What's up, everybody? First off, before we go any further, let me just say that next Saturday, CWF presents Absolute Justice. 7.30 bell time. Check out CWF247.com for all the details. It's the biggest event of the summer, so you don't want to miss it. Second of all, I know a lot of people are wondering why last week I did what I did. Well, it was a fight between Trevor Lee and Lance Slew. It was a fight. It was a no limits match. I agree. But Chet Sterling pushed his nose where it didn't belong. What could you possibly want now since you look like a smurf that gone on vacation? Oh, that's real cute. That's real cute. You know what? What? We don't even know what you did, what you did last week. No, we, no, Let me tell you something, no, Joey Hogan. No, we, no, we know, at least I know, why you did what you did last week. Because you have it out for me. You've had it out for me since day one. And I don't even really even know you. I hate your face. I want to smash it. I know that's right. But you came out last week and you attacked me. Yeah. I wasn't even in a match. I wasn't even here as an active competitor. I was in ringside as a manager. You know what? And then you wanted to go and put your hands on me. It's not right. An official's not supposed to put his hands on a wrestler.
Alert. C W F is live in five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live here tonight. RGL and I am your Mini Lightning Heavyweight Champion, Eric Royal. And I am here with... With Ethan Alexander Sharp, the multi-million dollar lottery winner and the sharpest and richest man in all of professional wrestling. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Um, anyway, tonight, we got an exciting matchup here. It's a clash of styles. We have San Andreas, an RGL regular, taking on a newcomer fairly. Uh, he goes by the name of MIA. Now, let me ask you this question here, Ethan Sharp. How in the world did you, how in the world did you get here? Did, how did I get here? Yeah. Well, it's quite like, simple. Where did you come from? It, it's quite simple, really. I was, I was raised in, well, unfortunately, I was raised in this godforsaken place, but Ooh. shortly after completely dominating the, the world of... Okay, I'm going to cut you off because you're taking too long. Big move right there by MIA. That was some impressive strength there by this guy. This guy is a big guy. Um, I don't think San Andreas has even a chance tonight. Yeah, well, now let me ask you this question. How would you fare against somebody like San Andreas? How would I fare? Well, I mean, first off, I'm pretty sure I've got the size advantage. And I got I'm also certainly more handsome than he is because I don't have to wear a mask. I think so the mask still looks better on him than your face, but okay. Yeah, thank you for that. But I, I think, I think regardless of his own speed and skill, I'm just too smart for him to keep up with me. Okay. All right. Well, we see MIA right now. He's got the big advantage on San Andreas. Now, tell me this, Mr. Sharp, since you're the sharpest and richest man in wrestling, how would you, how would you take on MIA? How would you, how would you defeat him? What would you, what would be your, your, your game plan for him? Well, quite simply, I would take advantage of the referee's short-sightedness and cheat as much as physically possible because as big as he is, there is no way, even as strong as I am, that I can outpower him. Oh! Oh, Lord. And you heard some meat slapping right there. So you just blatantly would cheat? You just, you just told your... your Oh yeah, I mean, if you don't get caught, it's not cheating. So, well, you, now you're gonna, now you're, now you're on record of saying that you're gonna cheat. That's true, but so, I, that doesn't really seem kind of smart or sharp on your, on your end of the stick. You don't hear me going out here talking about my game plan for absolute justice, which is next Saturday, June 21st, 7:30 p.m. bell time here, and where you're gonna see me beat the crap out of Corey Etzel like I've been doing. You're going to see me beat the crap out of uh, Ray Kandrak, like I did Battle Cade a few years ago. Then you're going to see me beat the crap out of Donnie. So, you know, that's my game plan. I'm just going to beat the crap out of people. You know, and if you got in there with me, I'd beat the crap out of you. I want to beat the crap out of you right now. I, I hate that you feel that way. I, I thought that we could probably be good friends, but I, yeah, I, I just don't like your face. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, goodness. Big, I just got so distracted by looking at you. You made me so disgusted, but I mean, what a big move right there. That's a big guy. Andreas just took over. What's he going to do here? He's a strength right there. Now, would you be able to do something like that? No, absolutely not. I would try, but it probably wouldn't work out. You know what? Now I think about it. Yes, I could. I could. You could. 
Yeah, see your muscles over here. You might, you might be able to. I don't know. I doubt it. This smoking jacket may cover things up pretty well, but I assure you, I am stacked underneath this jacket. <laughs> Are you stacked? You're Ab stacked in your jacket? Absolutely. I don't know what that means, but absolutely. How do you not know what that means? You're the surface and smartest man in wrestling. Uh, the one, the one language I haven't studied is hip hop slang, unfortunately. How much did that smoker's jacket cost? Uh, about six hundred fifty dollars. Oh wow. You Plus tax. Yes, Plus tax. Yes. Okay. I don't know how. Oh, hey. To each his own, buddy. Each his own. I'm going to put my glasses on here. Oh. MIA catches Andreas. Gets him back into the corner there. Now tell me, Mr. Sharp, in this situation right now, what would you do against against a big guy like, like MIA? Because Andreas, he had the momentum going, but now it seems, he seems to lost it. Ooh, right, right now what and Andreas has to do is absolutely get some space. Just however he's got to get it, he's got to get away from this, this big man, this MIA right now. Now how would you get away from him right now in this situation? Well, by any means necessary, to be quite honest. Like, explain. If, if I had, I mean, I could try to out-wrestle him, but if that doesn't work, if I've got to rake the eyes, if I've got to just duck out of the ring and take a moment to compose myself, I will do that. Because that's what, is that what the sharp, is it, what did you just say? What did you just say? Uh, yeah, I, I, didn't, I can't hear him too terribly well. What did he just say? Oh, what was that? It looks like San Andreas is starting to pick things up here. Oh no. Just a two count there though. That was uh That was uh, something I've never seen from Andreas there. Big top rope hurricane diving attempt at a oh, oh. Went to the well one too many times. See, that, that's, that's why that high-flying, that springboard mentality, all that high-flying flashy stuff just doesn't work. You've got to be smarter in the ring. Yeah, I don't do a lot of that, but I can. Oh, what are we going to see here? This looks lethal. Oh, oh, my goodness. What does he call that? I think he can just call that the end. Yeah, I agree. Hey, hey, raise his hand. Hey, go raise his hand. Six minutes, hey, brother. 17 seconds. Your winner by pinfall, MIA! Raise the guy's hand first, then check it out. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud of this for three goals action. Won't fall. Good to have a time with it. Please welcome out first, Darius Lewis! Don't ever, don't ever doubt it, okay? Oh, uh, yeah. The coach is here to call this next Rising Generation League match with Ethan. Alexander Sharp. Alexander Absolutely. Sharp. The smartest and richest man in wrestling. I don't know about the smartest. You definitely could be richer than me, but I I, I, I just have a hard time believing you're smarter than me. Well, you, you own how many baseball teams? Well, you know, I, I, got, a, I got a, like, tenured ownership. Ah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I could buy baseball teams, but I despise baseball, so well, I'm not going to waste any of my you know, money on that. Maybe drive. we should talk. Maybe we should talk about that because, you know, there's some investment portfolios involving baseball teams I think you'd be really interested in. Oh, is, is there money to be made? Absolutely. Well, Tons of money. If there's money to be made, then maybe maybe baseball holds my interest yeah, after all. We'll, maybe you could take me out. We'll go get some Kobe beef tonight, and uh, we'll talk about it. I like the sound of that, but you're paying for sure. Oh, well, maybe we go to McDonald's then. Uh, Waffle, House, I, I, Waffle House actually is a I good I see how idea. it is. Yeah, yeah, Waffle House. All right, let's get to the action here. Yes. Uh, now, from what I understand, you, you have a bit of a sordid history with this fellow in this incredibly ugly singlet. Yeah, Court Montgomery, I, uh, you know, he, he's one of those guys that, that 
he just didn't make the cut. You know, when you got spring training and you, and you go through all the drills and it's finally it's time to put that red tag in somebody's locker, I mean, he's the guy that you put the red tag in. He just couldn't make the major league team of the All-Stars. I see. So he's toiling away in the minors, hoping somebody will give him a chance. But, you know, if I write you off, you're done. I mean, there's just nothing else he can do except just get beat up everywhere he goes. I see. So he's, he's, a, he's an absolute low-grade player is what you're trying Absol to say. Absolutely. Absolutely. He, you know, Maybe, you know, maybe double A, maybe on a good day, on a good day. That's not, that's not bad. That's not bad, but he'll but never. you're not, not going to make a bunch of money doing that. No, he'll, he'll never be a heavyweight champion at that, right? Exactly, exactly. Now, what do you think about his opponent? Uh, you know, I, I'm not very uh, familiar with this Darius individual here. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of him, but at least he's not wearing a tiger stri striped singlet, so I, I give him the edge on that alone. Chappie, some chewing gum, please. As you see, you know, I got my closer with me, Chappie. Oh, yes, yeah. Follows I've, me everywhere. I've got to look into getting me a butler like that. I was not a butler. He's not a butler. That's terrible. Okay. He is my closer. That, that's fair. He locks down the bullpen for us. Look out. Cross body block. Nobody there. What do you think about this, Ethan? Um, I'm thinking, oh, well, that's a nice arm drag there. I'm thinking that much. Yep. That's another one. Ethan, would you like some gum? Um, I'd be happy to share it with you. I'm not much of a gum chewer. I prefer to chew caviar. Caviar? You got any with you? No, no, of course not. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hazard bringing such uh, lavish luxuries to a place like this. I totally understand what you mean. You know, it's the difference between the Champions Club and the Diamonds Club, right? Ex exactly. I got you. Well, now the action is going to spill to the ring as Court Montgomery is going to try to chase. Darius back into the ring. Darius is going to stomp him right in the kidneys. That, that, is, that is very smart right, right in there. the kidneys. He, he Extra time in the kidneys, too. He is not giving uh, Court Montgomery a chance to breathe here, and that is that is the best strategy you can bring into any match. He whips him into the rope. Clothesline takes down Montgomery. You know, Darius showing a little bit of fire here. If he could keep it going, he may have an opportunity to defeat Court Montgomery. Oh, yeah. Things are looking good for him so far. Got rear chin lock here. What do you think about that referee? Very, very scruffy. He, he definitely needs a shave and a haircut. Two bits, for sure. I don't trust a referee. They cheat all the time. That's true. That's very true. Oh, nice nice counter by Court Montgomery. I mean, you know, I do respect he's got talent. You know, I, he's not an all-star quality, but he's still got talent. I mean, you know, I'm not going to deny that. He was on the team as a water boy, but, yeah. you know, everybody needs a roll. Oh, we got some oh. shop exchange here. Crowd's liking this. Perhaps like a certain other water boy, he's... Oh! Oh! Went for the Northern Lights suplex. Darius landed awkwardly on his shoulder. I thought Montgomery was going to have the pin right there, honestly. Oh, we got a big punch. Ooh! Darius is fired up now. Oh! Dropping some big bombs right on the side of the head. Chappie, did you take care of my, my reservations for tonight? But we're going to go to the Waffle House. We're going to take Ethan to the Waffle House. You're going to pay, though, okay? All right. Yeah, he's paying. No problem. Oh, well, why didn't you say, Well, if that's the case, why should we go to someplace like Waffle House? I mean, if he's paying. Do you think I pay him that much? Come on. Oh, yes. Who am I kidding? Oh, big boot right oh. in the face. Very, very big mafia kick right there. By the man in the hideously ugly singlet. Look out. Court Montgomery hooking him up. Falcon arrow, nice. Oh, I can't believe that was a three. I know. What was the problem? Was there an angle in geometry there that prevented that from having the maximum impact? Yeah, ma mathematically speaking, he just was not where he needed to be from a physics perspective. If we want to break it down for these unintelligent people that don't have, you know, graduate degrees like we do. Oh, quite. Did frankly. you know I'm taking a I'm taking a course in baseball right now oh, from really? the University of Boston, actually. Yes. Can, can you get a doctorate in that? Um. I don't think they offer that yet, but we're working on it. You should be able to get a doctor in that. Wow, what a big forearm to the back of the neck from Court Montgomery. And now a foolish move there. He's gone. Oh, Johnny Wizard 
You know, he's looking over here at me like he means something by that. You know, I yeah. used to do the Shining Wizard. Oh, really? That was actually, you know, the guy that taught, you know, Great Muda how to do it. Oh, yes. You know, I've heard about that, actually. Yep. I will say he, he does not do it nearly as well as you did. You're absolutely correct. You know, Ethan, I'm really starting to like you. I'm, I'm I can't wait for us to go out. Chappie, what would you say about tonight? He said he'd, we'd go to Outback. I like okay. the sound. I, I'm, Is Outback I, good enough for you? I greatly appreciate Australian cuisine, yes. I, You're I, not going to get a paycheck this week, but Chappie, he's going to buy us. Well, if he really wanted that a paycheck, nice. he'd work harder. That's, I agree. I agree. Well, Ethan, it was a pleasure being here right. doing a commentary with you. With you. Course, I hope we yes. get to do this again. And tonight, you know, oh, we're absolutely. going out on Chappie. It's all on him. Oh, th th thank you, Mr. Mr. Chappie. Please welcome out team number one, that game of... Shaking, shaking over here, right? <laughs> Excuse me, but it seems that I even have to show up here to get the truth out. Because it seems that some people are afraid of it. So if you want to hide by paying your five dollars to think you'll see some good wrestlers, that's fine. But let me tell you what you're not going to see. You're not going to see desperation from me or Jason Miller because my cause is not lost. We have a purpose, and our purpose comes in seven days. But not only do we get justice, but we get justice that's absolute because See, because it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. And apparently, downing anybody we fought hasn't been proof enough. So in seven days, in absolute justice, we are going to down two other teams. And we... Come on. Bro, I have a wall around here. Hey! Bro. I'm, oh, so don't. No. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I got a problem with you. I should say, please. Of Jesse, the Ripper Edward! And the real New Prince Jesse Miller! Hey, And we are underway here. Tonight we have Nick Richards and the disgusting Jason Miller against two newcomers to the CWF, Jesse Adler and Jermaine, Jarrell Dupree. Jarrell Dupree, it's Dupree. French, I believe. Dupree, okay, that's, that's what we're going with, awesome. Yes. I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't like him, and the, the sole reason for that is because he's tall and I do not trust tall people. That, that doesn't make much sense. There may be some ulterior motive to that, but I'm just going to leave that at that. Right now, oh, looks like we're going for some counseling in the corner. Nope. They lock up again. Go behind by Adler. Trying to find a way out of that hole. People are still filing in for this RGL event. He hangs on. Big crossbody. Oh, no. Richards getting out of dodge here. Richards wise to create space there. He needs to, he needs to pull his pants up. Well, yes, that for sure. That was awkward, wasn't it? Absolutely. 
A side headlock applied trying to ground Richards. I don't know if this is the correct idea to go for. Well, if you can keep a man grounded, you have him in your control. I, I will say that. Yeah, but Nick's grounded a lot. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I, I'd say uh, that should be broken right there. He pulled his hair. Referee Robbie Walsh giving him a little bit of room. As, as much hair as this Jesse Adler child has, I'm, I mean, I'm amazed he can grab a handful of anything else. We're going with child, huh? Well, look at him. I mean, it looks like it's quite honestly past his bedtime. Beautiful drop kick. That might be bedtime for Nick Richards. He's trying to turn him over for a pin. Let's see if we can get him. No, two count only. Nick just looks like a skeezer. It's like a sky rag. A, a, true, a true ruffian, if you will, yes? I like your smoking jacket. Speaking oh, thank of attire, you, yes. yes. Whip in the corner. I, We're going to see some double team action. I actually have 20 Whoa. more of these in my closet. Oh, a little bit of teamwork. Big leg drop at the end. Dupree for the cover. Two. Nick rolling out. Oh, oh very, very wise tag there. It's almost like he chopped his partner in the belly for a tag. I haven't seen that done before. That's it's unique. Definitely. Very, very, very abstract. Uh, sizing each other up. Dupree's not a small man by no means. No, sir. Push to the ropes. Oh, a shoulder block. Neither moving. More trash talk. Oh, he pushes him. Up and over. Oh, he holds on. Whoa. To the apron. He hangs on. Oh, bring him to the corner. Now Look that's, at this. Then that's not fair fighting. The referee should, should the referee should break that up. I, I don't know. I like seeing the young fire out of this kid. But it but it's against the rules. You you should not be breaking. Now if he, you're any kind of man, you will not break the rules. I'm sure you'd break a couple rules. Well, if I had to, but chop to the chest. Need to work on those. He's got him on the ropes. Get an Irish whip. A reversal. Drop to hold to the rope. I bet we're not seeing a 619 from Jason Miller. No, I don't think we're going to see anything of numbers. Oh, he missed the kick. He missed the kick. Bringing him in the hard way. Oh, that is going, that's going to sting right there. What stings is he's getting handled by a rookie. Richards has been in this for a while now. That's true. He really, he really has to let some of that, that veteran experience come in and just, just start mopping the floor with Jarrell Dupree. Would you call it experience? Well, depending on, I mean, it doesn't matter necessarily how it turns out. It's still experience. Big clothesline of the oh, corner. Flooring Richards. Oh, do we almost see a choke by him? I, I told you, this man is not to be trusted. He's finding himself in the wrong part of town, in the corner of Dupree and Adler. Adler's going to the top. He can fly. I've seen him in practice. Oh, vertical. What is this? Oh, boy. Oh, that could be it right there. What? Oh, my. Standing moves oh on the top it off. How did he kick out of that? That was incredible teamwork. Wow, for, for a for a schoolboy, that was quite impressive, I must admit. That wasn't a schoolboy at all. That's a pin. No, no, I mean he himself is oh, a schoolboy. Oh, what you need. <laughs> Never doubt Nick Richards. He might be a skeezer and yeah, he's squandered on a vandal, but he gets the job done. To, oh, my God. Oh. Remnants of Cactus Jack right there. Absolutely. I'm. Nick Richards is a true pragmatist as far as wrestling goes. He I don't know what that means. Basically what it means is he will he will use whatever and whoever he's got to use to, to pick up the win. Gotcha. Bouncing his face off that apron. No padding there whatsoever. Picked him up in a gut wrench almost. Rolling him back in. See, this is exactly what we did not want to happen here. Miller's the power of the group. Oh, and of course he's going to take a sweet time with him now. Let's say he better get on that. Dupree is extremely lanky. Could aid in a tag. Oh, a stiff shot yeah, to the he, jaw. He could probably tag oh. uh, tag in this match from halfway across the ring yes. as long as those arms are. But he can't tag all the way. Now, what, what do we have here? 
Oh. Is that a forearm to the back of the head? Looked to looked like the a, back of the neck? It looked like a diving elbow right to the, the base of the neck. That is not fun at all. It's not safe. It's dangerous. Of course, that, that describes Nick Richards perfectly. Side headlock applied. Oh, my God. He's pulling the hair. Rubbing the face. Oh, my God. Be a cross face almost. Clubbing blow to the chest. Trying to take out all of that oxygen. Another one. Nick sporting some, what is that, American Eagle? It appears that way. Obviously, his, his, he did not buy an expensive enough belt to cover that. No, his, his, his ass is falling out. That is, that is a shame. I, I, I hate that the people here have to see that. What is he? Uh, trying to block the suplex attempt. Let's see what we can do here. Small package. Whoa. Miller almost. He's calling for the tag. He's got him in. He stops smart, it. All oh, very smart. That's that's where the experience comes into factor. Adler took his eyes off his partner. Now he's just wailing on him. That that's smart too. You you want to keep Adler away from making the tag by any means necessary. Absolutely. And uh, I think that describes this team of Miller and Richards to the point. Any means necessary. Absolutely. We had some fight back. Those forearms making. Everything count. Oh, he went for the ropes. Oh, a big clothesline. That could be it right there. Took his head off. Jesse kicking out again, reaching for that tag. He needs to make this tag. I cannot stress that enough. The kid, and I emphasize kid, has a lot of heart. I must say, uh... Referee Robbie Walsh's hair is absolutely wild. It's awesome. I, I am curious to know what product he puts in it. It's, it's definitely fascinating. Right? Tell you what's not fascinating, rear chin locks and clubbing blows to the chest once again. Maybe not, but they're certainly effective. Yes, driving out all that air out of the lungs, possibly. Snap suplex, see if he floats over with a pin. Of course not, he's gonna tag Nick. Now with the boot on the throat. Official Robbie Walsh administering the count. What was that, a stomp to the shoulder? He's stomping his hair, I don't know if that's oh. doing anything. I mean the nerve Now that's gonna oh. do something, that hurts. I've been on the receiving end of that oh. before. That, that is why I refuse to grow my hair out. I will not be subjected to that. Now he just wouldn't look good with long hair, like me and Jesse. That's beside the point. And oh, look at this, a Richards classic, Ooh, that back rake. That is, oh. that is disgusting. And he licks he licks, he licks the dead skin off his, he's a weird person. R remind me to keep a vial of hand sanitizer available whenever I'm anywhere near Nick Richards. Remind me to go and buy a smoking jacket. These things are snazzy, if, fancy. If you, if you can afford one, you, you, you're more than welcome to any of them you'd like. Nick Richards taking time out of this to adjust his pants. Now, well, that's interesting. Unique offense by Nick Richards using that forearm to choke. Excuse me, his uh, shin bone to choke. It looked like he took too much time. He oh. looked like he hit the turnbuckle, the metal part of the turnbuckle. Clubbing blood puts him down. A forearm across the chest puts him down. A forearm to the face of Richards. Ooh, those look like they're painful. Dupree looks like he's setting something up. What is he going for? Big body slam. No, he slipped behind. Whoa, whoa. Oh, a shoulder block. Oh, he caught him across the back. And stomp to the chest. Miller looks like he's set up for something. He ducks it. Oh, a kick to the gut. What are we going to see here? here? Oh, oh, an axe kick. Reminiscent of Booker T with a huge axe kick there. It's the five-time champion. Absolutely. Five Hall of Famer. Five-time. 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 Oh, he's going to call for that big boot in the corner. Oh, he gets caught up. All that showboating and trying to pander to these moron people. Oh, a cutter out of nowhere. Usually that's the end of the match right there. He's trying to get him out of it. Oh, he sees him. Oh. Oh, he eats the turnbuckle hard. Jesse Adler could be concussed off of that. Up on the shoulders, electric chair position. What is Nick going for? He's on the top rope. Boom, whoa, 
Oh my god, a back elbow. And we have a winner. Winners plural. That snaky crawl back out of the ropes. Nick Richards is a weird human being. Absolutely. I remind me to get a restraining order against him. I'm going to beat Rick Converse. I should set the tone tonight and beat the RGL champion, the worst RGL champion in CWS. Wasn't that getting Joe So here we are at the RGL show. We got a, a, I guess you could say a big RGL match with, but it's not even an RGL match, but Chase Dakota came out here and said he was the best RGL champion, which is arguably probably one of the dumbest things he's ever said, seeing how I was an RGL champion. Uh, so, we're, we're going to get a, an exhibition match here, and if I know anything from both these guys, that this could be one to be a big loser for both of them. What do you think, a uh, guy that's sitting beside me in a really nice jacket for some reason? Guy that's sitting beside you in a really nice jacket's name just so happens to be Ethan Alexander Sharp, the smartest and richest, might I add, man in all professional wrestling. and. Quite frankly, oh, I think... Charlie just mush-faced him like I'm going to do to you if you keep talking to me like that. Arm drag by Charlie West that passed by. Whoa, he's evasive. Did another arm drag. He's going to rip it out. Big atomic drop there by uh, Charlie West and drop kick. Not nearly as good as mine, but he still busted Chase right in the face with it. Chase Dakota having, having to take a, a breather right now. Yeah, sometimes it gets a little hot in the ring with the lights. They're really hot, man. Whoever hooked this up, they... Let Chase Dakota be in. That was him. that was smart. I'll give him that. That, that. that was pretty. That was pretty smart. That was a good good one from Chase Dakota. Chase Dakota is the more experienced wrestler in this match. Uh, I'm interested to see how this all plays out. You know what I mean? Like they're both losers, but I mean somebody might get knocked out or something. Charlie's yeah. got that big punch, and I think Chase. I think he tries to copy a knee, but you know. It happens, it happens. Quite frankly, I think for for you and for, for me as well, the, the best possible outcome Ooh. is if both of these people, the individuals here, would just get injured and we'd not have to see either of them again. Well, you said that I didn't. You know, I mean, I, I don't care if I got to look at these people because I, I know that when I look at them, I can just look at myself and know I'm better. That's just what happens, Ethan. Ethan Alexander Sharp. Are you the sharpest knife in the drawer? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Look, rolling back in, Chase Dakota. Oh, just kicking him right. In the, you see, that's good stuff right there. That is good stuff. Charlie yeah. Weston does need to fight back, though, because there. you can't just let people foot slap you in the back like that. 
Charlie, uh, maybe he's a little shook, you know. Um, this is his first RGL defense on an uh, RGL show. What he needs to do is he all that rage and all that anger that he had when he came out in the ring, he needs to start channeling that in the ring. Yeah. There he goes. Yeah, th here we go. Big punch right across the mouth. I think like, that's some rage. You see, a couple forearms. I hope he doesn't do those clotheslines in the corner. You know, one time he gave me like five clotheslines in the corner. I couldn't even do anything. By the time I tried to step out of the corner, he was hitting me again. That doesn't sound fair. I hope the, I hope the referee was reprimanded for his, his shoddy job that day. Right there, Chase Dakota just pulling everything he had to whip Charlie to where he tripped and busted his face on the turnbuckle. You got to give it to Chase. He's, he is kind of being smart. Not as smart as me, no, but he's still that pretty as it smart. May, I mean, I technically don't know how smart you truly Oh! I don't know how smart you have Ooh. to be. That's a kick in the face, yeah. no matter how smart you are. You take too many of those, you won't be smart anymore. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, just scraping his foot right across his face. See, that is smart. Chase Dakota has got confidence right now. He, he believes he's got this match in the bag right now. Look at that confidence. It's glowing. I don't know if he's got tights on or what, but I just see purple things on his legs. Yeah, he's, he's not going to be... Oh! Yeah, look at him. He, could you not swallow before he went and picked him up? Yeah, he, he, need, he needs to control his, his beverage consumption. Oh! See, Charlie spent too much time trying to hulk up and not enough time. Oh, not oh. enough time not getting his back broken. Jesus. That looked very painful. But he had it to kick out. Good for him. See, if that was me delivering the move, we know what happened. I've already beat him three times. We know what happened. Well, I understand you have kneecaps of steel, actually. Well, be that as it may, you're supposed to be smart as well. There we go. What are we doing? Oh. Maybe Chase Dakota's thinking he wants to give him a big old uh, superplex or something. You know? High risk matchup. I don't know if, if I would do something like this. This is, this is far too much risk for the reward. I, I don't even think you can sit in your chair correctly, so I'm not worried about you doing anything off the top. I'm trying to figure out what Chase Dakota's doing. And all I know is Chase Dakota is getting his face beat in by Charlie Weston. That's a headbutt. That is exactly what I'm talking about. He, he got oh. punched and thrown off, and now he's drop kicked by Charlie Weston. Now he's Here eating a fire. missile drop kick. Boom! One! Boom! Two! Three! He's a fired up crazy machine. Bulldog? Whoa! Boom! Ooh. He just acid dropped him. Oh. Chase Dakota may have a broken up nose. Again. Oh, Chase had enough energy left, though, to throw that boot up. And when a person's running at you, sometimes that's all you need. Big power slam, though, by Charlie Weston. Ooh, big kick. Chase thought he had him with that kick, but it's still not enough to keep Charlie Weston from power slamming. Yo, are we going to see? Oh, oh, he slipped. He slipped up. That's all right, because Chase is taking advantage. Oh, Ow. my God. What? Ow. Innovative what? offense from Chase Two, Dakota. Three. What? But what you do? I've got to hand it to Charlie West, and he, he somehow managed to kick out of a very devastating look, looking maneuver right there. And he's smart right now. He needs to get out of the ring. He needs to get on his feet. He needs to leave because, Ooh. okay, well, I guess he's just going to kick him in the head. That works, too. Fine strategy. Sunset flip by the champion, rolls back. Challenger grabs the legs, jumps through, brings him back to his feet, goes for the neck breaker. A Connor holds on. What's going on? Ducks the line. It's the punch. There we go. Ooh. There was a bit of chaos. Big form. You ain't going nowhere this time. Whoa. Big back elbow. I got you this one. Oh, gosh. Big knee to the stomach. They're playing tic-tac-toe right now. Oh. Oh. There we go. Throw the line. Nope. Whoa. Spin. Whoa. Nope. There we are. This is, this is dizzy. One. Two, oh! Big kick, big kick, big kick. Oh, there we go, boom! And there, there's the punch. And there it was. One, two, three. Ethan Alexander, I mean, I had a, I had a time out here with you, but uh, it was it was certainly happening, I'll give you that. That's a bit bonkers.
friend of mine, Andrew Everett. That'll be me. That'll be him, you know. Oh, look, we're already off to a, a rambunctious start. Manny Garcia, drucking and driving his way. This is the first time these two have uh, matched up. Is it? Now, yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, and uh, so, you know, Manny should be kind of on his, on his toes because Cedric Alexander is no slouch. He is one of the top wrestlers, athletes, in the world I, right now. I'd agree with that. I've been working a lot with Cedric Alexander. He's an incredible athlete and he's an incredible competitor. Yes, he is. All I, the way around. He's as fast as anyone is and dude. he's strong as an ox. Dude, he, he threw me when I was about 280. Man, he threw me and broke, almost broke my back, man. He uh, sent me into orbit, low orbit, I will say, uh, I saw with that, that backdrop. I saw Andy that. Garcia. And uh, I saw y'all's match on, the, on TV. Oh, yeah. Time, yeah. But, yeah, Cedric Alexander, man, he is a very tough competitor. But I've been in the ring with both of these gentlemen, and Manny Garcia is definitely no slouch either. That's why he is the Mid-Atlantic Television Champion right now. For someone with as little experience as Manny Garcia ha has, it's amazing how well he can handle himself in the ring, even with his antics. I mean, he is the Duke of the Dominican. It's Republic. That, no way. Is yeah, that what we're saying? That, yeah, that's, that's what I call him, man, because, you know, oh, he's very Cedric proud. Up to his feet, he is. Man. Cedric, quick, quick as a cat. Beautiful arm drag takeover. He has a keeper on it. He's almost big as a bull, but he is quick as a cat. He does this and he does that. All that rhymes. He's a man called Cedric. Oh, wow. We really just said that. Okay. Yeah. And uh, speaking of uh, speaking of Cedric, we were in the back earlier, and we were just talking about because uh, somebody back there was dissing something that you know you grew up on it as well, being a proud African American. Yes. You know Kool Aid. You know what I mean? And uh, you know we had to let that person know that you know we grew up on Kool Aid, man. Well, I mean, if the wrong person makes Kool Aid. It's pretty terrible. Right. Um, but see, the secret is to add more sugar. The more sugar, the better. Most of the time. I used to mix mine up. I used to get like lemonade and then I get like strawberry. Then we have strawberry, lemonade, Kool Aid. I used to try to do that. Sounds delicious. Beautiful Cedric. leapfrog. Another arm drag. He looks, he is on a frenzy arm drag. Frenzy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, that's because he had that, he had that Kool Aid earlier. You is know what that, I mean? That's an 89 on the back. That's the, yeah, I, I think that's the year he was born. Maybe? Okay, I my my mind wandered to a little bit more it look, it does inappropriate look, places. It does kind of look like a, a six as well. 
But that's just the nine upside down. He is working on that arm. Those big elbow drops, all that momentum, all that weight coming down on that arm. God, I, I still can't say it enough. Cedric Alexander is an incredible athlete. He is. He's deceptively large. He's as wide as a damn door frame. He is. Um, boom! And boom, just like Beautiful. that. He can take your face off. Yes, he can. Do you think that in the Dominican Republic that uh, Manny Garcia, do you think he, they had Kool-Aid down there? Um, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Or do you think they have flavor aid? They might have flavor. I don't know. The knockoff flavor aid? Yeah, I might have to ask. Look, I'm going to tell you, there's been some times where I've had to, we've had to revert to flavor aid. And just, those were harder times. Just harder times? We've all been yeah. through hard times. You know, I'm cool, like, you, flavor is powdery and then the packet's all paper. What, what, what's mm -hmm. incredible, <laughs> to uh, Manny Garcia's credit, he can run his mouth. Still, while taking a beating, it doesn't. It reminds doesn't stop. me of Muhammad Ali a little bit. Yeah. You know, I don't want to complete. That's a big comparison, but. But yeah, you Those see. Oh my! Oh, he's, he's trying to dance. Yeah. Uh, he's trying to dance he's, it off. It didn't work. It did. It sauced him to the floor. Sexy Alexander, putting the work in on Manny Garcia. Experience Man. in Cedric's favor, yes, yes. quickness in Cedric's favor. I would not say strength, though. We we have mentioned Cedric Alexander's strength, but Manny Garcia is a large individual. Manny's pretty freaking big, man. Yes, he is. I said freaking. I've seen his workouts before. Cedric trying to get the crowd into it. Maybe calling for that corner drop kick. It's Maybe a doozy. Maybe for it. Looking to take his face off. Puts him up oh, and over. Manny counters. He was up there for a while. Oh, oh big punch by Manny. <laughs> Manny said, because he's smarter, I don't know about it. Oh, he pushed referee Robbie Walsh into the ropes. Oh, a big knee to the gut. Maybe another one. Oh, working over the midsection. He is in a pre precarious position right now. A big third one pops him off of the turnbuckle. And boom. Clothesline. Oh man. Manny Garcia is with a flurry of disgusting uh, offense. It looks like he's got control again. Yelling at official Robbie Walsh to count him out. Manny take trying a to breathe. Yeah, he's trying to do whatever it takes to keep that title. You know, TV time limit. Champion still retains the title by uh count out. Trying to shake off a or little bit disqualification. Of that arm. Cedric did some decent work on that arm. He's trying to shake it off. I see him favoring it. <laughs> he just fell on him. Didn't care where he was. Yeah, you know, you got to make the cover. You got to do whatever it takes. Big knee to the back. Another. He yeah. Seems to be focusing on the back. He pinpointed that. Yeah, lower back, you know, for Cedric, you know, especially as an athlete and when you're training in the gym, you know, when you're doing deadlifts, you know, that's one of the main parts of your core. So, you know, you by... You take that away from somebody. Right. right. You, take, you take just about everything away from them. Right. You that takes a lot of your core strength away, and now it's going to be harder to pick up. It's going to be harder to breathe, everything. Yes, definitely. Especially somebody like Manny, you know, that's so very smart on his part. But Cedric is so resilient. That little, that little cha cha got him in a little bit of trouble, it seems yeah. like. Firing away at the gut. Cedric trying to build offense. Oh, big, big backbreaker. Still to world backbreaker. Manny got to see that strength coming into play again. Too much showboating. He should have went directly for the cover. Yeah, you get, you like, with, with a competitor like Cedric Alexander, you cannot give him any breathing room. You can't give him any space. You have to stay on top of somebody like that because he can Cedric is, like you said, he's so fast. He's, so explosive. He can hit you from anywhere with one of them deadly kicks. I'd say I'd say you and Cedric are the most explosive people in the ring. Oh, well, For thanks. their size, he, he can generate so much speed. Ooh, so much speed from such a short time. It's incredible. Speaking of explosive, I'm going to explode next week at Absolute Justice. I might just pin all three of them at the same time and save all the trouble. I don't know yet. Still thinking about it, but I am ready. You do I that. Ready I'm probably going to be crushing around next week. I'll be crushing around after the show. Oh, big blistering right hand. Catches flush. Oh, big <laughs> back elbow by said Everything he does hurts so bad. Like I said, but it just made Manny more upset. Oh, oh. Gomin Gary to the back of the head. Maybe like he got more, more of the uh, shoulders. Watch Se the roof. Big clothesline by Cedric. Going for the cover. That could be it. No. 
That springboard Only a two count. Line, Cedric gets so high, like he, you know, his, his, like you said with his, his explosiveness, like when he gets up there and springboards, he gets as high. He's got to stay high. Like when you. Till like he dies. I, 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 I. Yeah. Three, six. Mafia. Yeah. yeah. They're in the city. Mission oh. Noku driver. That could be it right there. Oh, oh man, he's showing only. that resilience. That Dominican pride. Yes, he's from the city where they love to hate, especially on the triple six. 90 seconds well, remaining not, in this contest. Minute. He's not from Memphis, never mind. One's from Charlotte and one's from Dominican Republic. Oh. Manny, the Duke of the Dominican. Oh, oh big man. Bang belly. He put him right in that corner, a little bit too close to the ropes to see if he can capitalize. He's going to drag him out. Yes, very smart there. Get him away from the ropes. Manny, yeah, that was very smart on his part by pulling him away from the rope so Cedric couldn't, you know, get a foot on the rope or, Manny. you know, make a save that way. But Cedric still kicked out because it's a resilience. Oh, are we going to see it? Would you like a little bit of chips with, with that, that salsa? Oh, oh the most electric fine move. This may be it. This may be it. One, two, no. Cedric Alexander looking like he's mad. I think that just made I think that just pissed him off. Yeah. Nope. No. no. Oh, what? Are we going to see something? No. Oh, big backdrop. Oh, right to the tailbone. See Wait a what minute. Do do? Wait a minute. Oh, Cedric oh, said that drop the back. corner. Oh, oh there it is. His face there up. it is! Wait a minute, the backbreaker! What? Oh! This could be it right here! Manny Garcia and rolls, Manny out, rolls of out of the road. Oh. That could save him his title! Wow! No, well, he this escaped. This can't be like this. This can't be like this. By the skin of his teeth. Oh! Wait a minute. The crowd. The crowd wants five. Three ain't enough, man. They need five. Wait. Okay. Y'all know, as long as I do, Cedric, Manny, that I run things around here. So I took this into a lot of thought and careful consideration. I'm not going to give y'all five more minutes. Well, Manny, Manny, you're going to love the little part I have right here where I'm giving you 10 more minutes. No. No. What? Huh? Don't expect. What? Just huh? me. Oh. Huge dive and some huge new by Joey Hogan. We have 10 more minutes. Cedric Alexander making the most of it. Suicide dive to the outside. He rolls him back in. Let's see what he can muster up. Cedric, Cedric needs some water. Cedric with the big, big dive right there. Man, he's trying to get out of dodge. I don't think it's going to work. Joey Hogan giving the fans what they want and then some 10 more minutes. And, you know, I think that that's only fair. I mean, Cedric Alexander had the match won, you know. Yeah, uh, I've, I've felt that backbreaker before. It's the worst thing ever because you're so high up in the air, you have no idea where Bruh. you are. And then all of a sudden you hit those two knees. Bruh, I do have an idea. <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh, yes. You, you've you been on this side of that. Yeah. Twice. It hurts. Cedric Alexander showing a little bit of frustration. I wasn't, I was not too player for that backbreaker. Usually I'm too player for stuff. But for that backbreaker, I was not too player you for You kids it. and you're two players. Cedric setting him up. Fireman's carry. Maybe a Death Valley driver. Oh, oh he into the corner. I think Beautiful. Split-legged moonsault. Split Split-legged moonsault. Yeah. Taking the breather. Too much time. I think Manny might. Yeah. Oh, got the knees up to the gut. A little bit too much time taken. Manny Garcia, see if he can build some momentum. Look. Oh. Oh, here comes that. Oh. oh my God. He took that. his face off. No way. Oh. The wind up. 
the pitch, nothing. He almost knocked Cedric Alexander out. You know, I would say it's an upset. I would say it's an upset. I agree. If Manny Garcia, even though he's the TV champion, if he beats Cedric, this is a huge upset because Manny has just been wrestling. He hasn't, he's only been wrestling for about. Cedric is an ROH star, a PWG star. He has wrestled everywhere. Everywhere. If Manny Garcia can muster up the ability to pin Cedric Alexander. What do you think that would do for his career? Exactly, especially the way the momentum that Cedric has been building in the past year. You know, just like you said, he's he has he's blown up even more. And I kind of said at the end of last year that you know this you might mean, be Cedric's year, it's and it's just, looking like it. It's right just now. not a smart move to trade with Cedric. But I got to tell you, Manny, oh my Manny God. can throw the blows too. Turned him inside out almost a lariat would you say but he's got to cover he's got to cover here he's got to cover here he's got him to his back that's one two no Cedric barely barely kicked out of there now what, what he's doing is very very smart he's taking all of that will he's trying to but you can tell Cedric is not giving up at all Man, he's calling for it. Maybe trying to put him out. Oh, could he be going for the... Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh the Dominican. Oh, my God. No. Oh. Too much Cameron. weight. Cedric, Too much weight. Cedric is what we like to call a hoss, or like what Robbie Ross likes to call Whoa. a hoss. A roll up. One, two. No, he almost stole it. Wait a minute. Oh, backslide. Another near fall. Oh, oh my God! Wait a minute, I think this might be it. Bray Buster! One, that is two, it. three! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! We have. Robbie Walsh is, what is, Robbie Walsh is waving his finger at me. Wait a minute, no. What, what is, no, 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 no. What do you want now? Because, what do you Joey want? Hogan, if things aren't gonna be fair for me and my boy Trevor Lee, then I don't think things need should be fair for Mr. Cedric Alexander. The title, was agreed upon to be put on the line with the first 10 minutes. Just because this idiot wanted to give him 10 more minutes doesn't mean he can win the title in that 10 minutes. It's a 10 minute time, TV title time limit. He knows it's true. I'm sorry. I beat Manny, and he swear, in the middle of this ring, I am the TV champion. I hate to say this, but I read the rule book, and when I gave you 10 more minutes, I didn't understand that the title wasn't on the line in the last 10 minutes, but Chet is right about that. I'm sorry, Cedric. What are you still doing in the ring? Because I want you to do what's for you. Manny's got his belt. I just want to make sure everything's good to go. Okay. Okay, Cedric. Since he wants things to be fair, let me explain this. Manny may get to keep the TV title, Cedric. But next time you're in town, I'm going to let you get your hands on Chet Stone. You're going to get him next time you're in town.